Investigators are combing through every aspect of suspect Brian Koberger's life as they try to piece together a possible motive in the murders of four University of Idaho college students. We're trying to build this picture now of him, who he is, his history, how we got to this event. Law enforcement sources say FBI agents tracked the 28-year-old's movements days leading up to his arrest at his parents' home in eastern Pennsylvania. It's located more than 2,500 miles from the house in Moscow, Idaho, where Koberger is accused of stabbing Kaylee Gonzalez, Madison Mogan, Zana Kernodal, and Ethan Chapin while they were sleeping on November 13th. Gonzalez's father says their arrest brings some relief. This is the first bit of joy that we've had in close to seven weeks. We hope they picked the right guy and that gives us hope and we haven't had hope for a long time. Koberger is a Ph.D. criminology student at Washington State University and lived in Pullman, Washington, about a 15 minute drive from the victims. Police haven't found a murder weapon or said if Koberger knew the students. Law enforcement sources say forensic analysis allegedly linked him to the murders. The public defender representing Koberger in the extradition says about a month after the murders, his client went on a road trip home to Pennsylvania with his father that was planned at the beginning of the semester. They were in a white Hyundai Elantra, is the same make and model of the vehicle spotted near the scene of the murders. The police department believes that the person we have in custody, which would be Koberger, is the one who is responsible for these crimes. In their first statement, the family of Brian Koberger said they care deeply for the four families who have lost children. They also said they are fully cooperating with police in an attempt to seek the truth and promote his presumption of innocence. Donya Backus, CBS News, Moscow, Idaho.